بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ڈیئر اسٹوڈینٹس ہوپ یو آل فائن ڈیئر اسٹوڈینٹ دس لیکچر از فار گریڈ سیون بوائز اینڈ گرلس بوتھ ونگس سبجیکٹ سائنس اینڈ ان دس چیپٹر وی ول کنٹینیو دا ریمیننگ ٹاپکس آف چیپٹر نمبر الیون وچ از اباؤٹ دا سرکٹس اینڈ الیکٹرک کرنٹ دس از مائی تھرٹیتھ لیکچر اینڈ آئی ایم یور لیکچر مسز سائرہ جمال effects of an electric current we cannot see the electrical energy flowing in the circuit but if any of the following three things happen we say that electricity is flowing dear students you know that we cannot see the flow of charges with the naked eye but how could we identify that electricity is flowing from the following three things first one is heating effect of current when electric current flows through a metallic wire makes it hot light is also produced when a wire becomes very hot we use many appliances in our homes that convert electric current to heat you can see that one of the example Uh, in which electric current is converted into heat is toaster second example is iron in iron also electrical energy is converted into heat and that heat we utilize to uh, utilize to press our clothes second effect is chemical effect of current an electric current can chemically affect the materials particularly in molten or solution form molten means when you heat some uh, compound it melts out that melted form of compound is called molten state or solution definitely when you make a solution uh, in water a compound dissolve in water so it will give us solution when a current flows through a solution it can break up the solution in its components and this process is called electrolysis electro and lysis lysis means breakdown and electro means due to passing electric current by passing electric current if a compound in solution form or in melted form it uh, it decomposed into its component and this process is called electrolysis i told you electro means electric current and lysis break down you can see in this image a solution of hydrochloric acid which is composed of hydrogen and chlorine by passing electric current this is the battery and when electric current is passes from the battery what will happen from the negative pole to the the current uh, electrons will passes from the negative pole to the positive pole and then the ions will decompose or ionize in the solution form you can see hydrogen will move towards the as hydrogen ion has positive charge it will moves towards the negative electrode and chloride ion has negative charges so chloride ion will move towards the positive pole of that uh, of the electrode so this is uh, this process is called electrolysis and this cell is called electrolytic cell in electrolytic cell a, uh, a solution of any compound it ionizes into its individual components positive ions and negative ions positive ions will move towards the negative electrode and negative ions will move towards the positive electrode of that electrolytic cell electricity is also used to coat a metal object with a thin layer of another metal this method this method is called or this process is called electroplating plating means making a layer making a layer of one metal on another metal is called electroplating you can see in this image that the rings of the bicycle are nickel plated uh, as the rings are made up of iron but they are plated with nickel nickel you know is also a metal so nickel is plated on iron which will may which will prevent it from rusting and give it a visual appeal as well 
magnetic the third one is magnetic effect of current and electric current can also produce magnetic effect in a metallic wire how can an electric current produce a magnetic effect in a metallic wire a coil of wire around a piece of iron this is a piece of iron and when you coil around it or when you wrap around that uh, metal the metallic wire or copper wire when you wrap it around this iron and when you connect that wire through a battery which will supply electric current to this wire what will happen this iron will turn into a magnet the iron will turn into a magnet so when you bring a, a magnet close to this iron uh, or this iron piece what will happen if the same poles come close to each other then they will repel each other and if the oppositely poles come close to each other they will attract each other so a coil of wire around a piece of iron behaves like a bar magnet when an electric current is passed through it such magnets are called electromagnets because they turn into magnet due to the electric current or due to the electric city an electromagnet loses its magnetism when the current stops flowing through it if you remove the battery and stop flowing the current through this wire then this uh, this uh, metal will no no more longer act as a magnet it will turn just uh, turn into an ordinary uh, metal electromagnets present in the air piece of your telephone convert electrical signals into sound electromagnets are also used in electric motors we have an activity to understand how to make an electromagnet you will need a battery a nail insulated wire paper clip and key procedure is that wrap the wire around a nail you can see here wrap the wire electrical wire across the or around the nail at least how many turns at least 15 turns how many turns are here 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 and 15 turns at least 15 turns around it to make the electromagnet connect the ends of the coiled wire this is the coiled wire connect it to each end of the battery this is the battery so we will connect one end with the one pole of the battery and another end to another pole of a battery. This is the switch just to supply electric current. Uh, just to uh, turn on the switch or turn off the button. So we call it switch. Try to pick paper clip with your electromagnet. We will uh, see if this iron nail turn into magnet, it will pick up or the paper clip will attract toward this uh iron nail which will turn into magnet after passing electric current through it so just to confirm a switch of the key switch of the key make it a closed circuit and then uh, try to uh, take this nail close to the paper clips you will see that this iron nail will attract the plate paper clips toward itself which shows that this iron nail now turn into a magnet because of this electrical current. Why is electricity produced or what is electricity? Electricity is a part of our everyday life. Sometimes it can be dangerous. An electric shock is a lot painful and dangerous. If we follow these safety rules, we would be safe and sound. So in order to get safe from the electricity shock, which is a lot painful, we should follow the following rules. Don't touch an electric wire which has fallen from power lines. Never touch electrical appliances with wet, wet hands. Don't enter any metal object into electric sockets don't overload power sockets overloaded sockets can cause fire 
and if a person has been electrocuted don't touch the body of that person use a non metallic object to move the victim away from the electric wire you can use a wooden stick or a plastic stick uh, which is non metallic and it will not allow electric current to pass through it so you can use the stick or the uh, plastic uh, stick or a wooden stick but don't use any metal to uh, remove the person which uh, or who got electric shock and don't touch him because we are also good conductor of electric current and then we, get, we will also get the same current and you know that it is very painful and even it can cause the death of the person. Short circuit damage insulation of wires may cause a short circuit and also a large current passes through the wire which also causes the wire to overheat quickly a fire may start as a result of short circuit or heavy current flow when heavy current flow through a wire it may cause the sh it is called the short circuit and it is also uh, it causes the um, the wire to be on fire Electricity and safety by uh, taking precautionary measures, we can use electricity quite safely. And they are by using a uh, fuses. What is fuse? A fuse is a piece of thin conducting wire connected in the path of a live wire. It gets heated up and melts on passing of a very large amount of current. Fuses are used to protect houses against short circuit and overloading. So you can see here these uh, fuses at uh, your home and these fuses are actually used to uh, protect houses against uh, short circuit when there is more heat or a heavy current flow in a wire then this short circuit melt out and then they uh, uh pre prevent the house from short circuiting then uh, another type of uh, circuit breaker is uh, mcbs which is also called miniature circuit breakers you can see in the image replacing the fuse again and again because as i told you when the due to heavy load the fuses uh, get melt out or the fuse is melted so you have to replace the fuse so replacing the fuse again and again is not a pleasant experience so engineers have developed the alternatives of fuses that is uh, they develop this miniature circuit breaker which is also called mcb and you can see mcb fuses in the image and mcb is a small electromagnet switch that works like a fuse means works like a fuse when it prevents the houses from short circuit but it does not blow out or melt it out it just breaks the circuit by tripping when a current more than its rating is passes through it so there is no need to replace this uh, mcbs again and again so this is a good alternative of the fuses mcb is a good alternative of fuses uh, three pin plug in three pin plug two pins connect the appliances to the main supply while the third pin connect the metal cover of an electric appliances to the earth wire you can see this is the ground pin or it is also called the uh, the thin uh, pin plug in case of short circuiting this this third pin helps in sending the large amount of current into the ground this actually passes the extra current to the ground wire and then prevent the short circuiting this thin uh, third pin plug then we have elcb which is also called earth leakage circuit breaker an earth leakage circuit breaker is a safety device used in electrical installations to prevent shock and an lcb is an electromagnet switch same like the mcb it quickly turns off the power 
when the current flowing through the earth wire exceeds the limit it actually stop or turn off the complete uh, power of the whole house or the whole meter uh, if the mm, current more than its limit exceeds also to prevent the short circuit uh, it uh, turn off if someone tries to use a faulty electric appliances and lcd breaks the circuit at one sometime if uh, we are using um, an um, uh, electric appliances which need more heat or more current and what happened this uh, elcb then turn off and prevent the uh, short circuit in the circuit earth wires additional earth wires protect us from electric shock you can see we have black blue or red and green wire the red one is live wire black is called neutral and the green is called earth wire so actually the third the third uh, leg of the third pin plug uh, the third pin actually it connect uh, the switch to this earth wire and what is the function of the earth wire if a shock uh, circuiting uh, occurs in a device short circuiting or shock circuiting occur in a device the extra current will flow directly into the earth wire through a resistance uh, earth wire so this wire the current will go to the earth wire and in this way a person who touches a faulty device will be protected from the electric shock and earth wire is buried in the ground you can see that this is the third wire and it is buried in the ground of the wire extend your thinking why the third pin of a three pin plug should not be removed the third terminal ground pin is a safety precaution if either terminal of the main ac line voltage shorts to the device housing for some reason then the device will be at the ac main voltage so it will remain at the main uh, voltage because i told you that this will send the extra current to the open wire and prevent the short circuit this is a hazard as anyone who touches the exterior of the device will provide a path to ground and get shocked So Society Technology and Science, everyone in Pakistan is facing the widespread uh, electricity uh, load shedding. So people have to pass sleepless nights and uh, their daily routine is also disturbed. Beside many factors, the habits of consumers are also not good. So in order to reduce the problem of uh, electricity load shedding we have to take a great care um, in our household appliances and we have to reduce the use of or the wastage of electricity which will prevent the electricity load shedding key points what is electric current the flow of charges through a conductor is called electric current and what is uh, electric circuit the path along which charges can flow is called an electric circuit what is a series circuit as i told you there are two types of electric circuits series circuit and parallel circuit what is a series circuit as in a series circuit all the components are connected one after the other in a single loop and in a parallel circuit the components are connected in two or more loops as there is only one path for the current to flow in a series circuit so a break at any point of the circuit stop the flow of current in the whole circuit that i told you is the disadvantage of the series circuit we use many appliances which use heating chemical and magnetic effects of the electric current then what is voltage voltage is the difference of 
potential between two points in a circuit or a battery. What is a resistance? Resistance is the hindrance to the flow of current. The resistance of a wire depends on two factors, length of the wire and thickness of the wire. And I told you that the smaller wire can uh, has less resistance than the longer wire. And a thick wire has less resistance than a thin wire. And what is the device? name which is used to measure the amount of electric current in an electric circuit m meter an m meter is used to measure the amount of electric current in an electric circuit electricity is very important for us but it can also be dangerous an electric shock can be fatal for a person i told you it may cause the death of the person even V uses fuses, MCBs, earth wire, and ELCBs for the safe use of electricity. And in order to prevent the short circuit and fire on wire, V uses these fuses, MCBs, earth wire, and ELCBs for the use of electricity. So, dear students, your syllabus for the final term has finished and now you have to learn these uh, seven chapters, uh, the, sorry, five chapters, chapter number seven, eight, nine, ten and eleven. These eleven chapters are included in your final term syllabus, so prepare them well for your final exam. Uh, wish you best of luck. Uh, take care and love this.